In this episode of Pricing Mastery, we're going to do a deep dive into the FHFA graph so that you can understand how it's made, what it means, how to present it, and why the numbers sometimes change. So let's jump into it. The FHFA graph is an awesome tool that Focus First provides to help agents really be able to show the appreciation for their area over a period of time to any customer or client. Now, what the FHFA stands for is Federal Housing and Finance Administration. It's a department of the U.S. government that every year divides the country into metropolitan statistical areas, or basically, usually it's cities or a combination of cities, and then takes resales and appraisals of homes, combines those, comparing them to what their previous sold or previous appraisal was, to then report that change and generate a appreciation number. Now, really quick, a couple of key things to remember on that. What this means is when they track a resale, if a home was owned for 10 years and then sold 10 years later for a different number, they take the appreciated value and distribute that over the years. So whenever a home sells, it can change the numbers of the prior years because it's adding more data to make it more accurate. The other side of this is when they get to the top 100 percentage appreciation uh, for that year, what they end up doing is creating their top 100 list removing the appraisals and then just looking at the resales to really show what the buyer's appreciation mindset is. Now this data is really awesome to have and a really great information, but Focus First is all about showing is better than telling. So we took this and we wanted to show year to year appreciation, show the accumulated appreciation over time, and show recent quarter appreciation so that you can present this easily to your customers. So taking this information of resales and appraisals, um, in some cases just resales, we were able to create an awesome, beautiful graph. As you can see here, for this case, Boise City, Idaho, you can see very easily the appreciation year by year, as well as the effect of the accumulated appreciation over time. You can see that we have an answer down here at the bottom for the average annual appreciation, which in this case is 6.5%, as well as the recent quarter appreciation, so you can really see what the current and most up-to-date market look is doing. Now, obviously, there was this downtime here during the uh, major recession in the housing market, but you can see that this market has not only recovered, but more than recovered since that downturn. On this graph, also, we have the accumulated appreciation. You can see here on the side, it goes from zero up to 300%. And since 2000, this area has appreciated 251%. Now, an awesome thing about this graph is, let's say your customer happened to buy their house at the end of 2013. What you can do is go to this number here, which says 50% appreciation from 2000 up to 2013, and then subtract that number from this total number, and that will give you the appreciation that your customer will most likely see in their home. In this case, that'd be about 200%. This graph is an awesome way to really show the market to your clients, and we absolutely love it. That being said, we did actually have a different version, a legacy version that we also give you when you log into your account that looks like this. Now this one here shows a little bit longer time period and just shows you the year's appreciation or depreciation percentage. Now you can see it doesn't really show the effect of appreciation as much, but it does give you a longer uh, picture view so you can really be able to tell your customers, you know, this market's mostly going up except for a couple of those, you know, down times. So both these graphs are available in your account once you log in and are a subscriber of Focus First. Now the beautiful thing about these graphs is they're very easy to present. When you go to present them, you just say exactly what I told you. That the U.S. government collects data on homes that sell in this area and then uses that information to track appreciation. Now one thing to also maybe present to your customers is that it does not include new construction. The reason why is you want to see real appreciation not actually a new construction demand, which can sometimes be higher or lower based on builder choices or people building their house, adding or removing from the base model. So this information really is a good picture for your current homeowners of what the market's doing and a good thing to show to prospective buyers to be able to give them an idea of what they can expect in this market as far as home value increasing and investment on their end. Again, if you're a current subscriber, log into your account and you can download them from the FHFA Appreciation Graph page. If you're not a subscriber, check us out at focusfirst.com. I hope this video gave you some clarity and thanks for being here.
Hopefully this video helped you master the tools and master your pricing. If you want to see more videos like this and additional videos we release, make sure you subscribe to the Focus First YouTube channel. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.